guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain to episode 10 of Bungie the Rocks. Go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Huh? Oh my god, Butch. <laughs> Go ahead, baby, with that confidence. You see her, she's like oozing, oozing with it. Go, baby. <laughs> oh, <laughs> of course, it'd be a dream. Oh. Uh oh. What? Well, well, yes, Bochi, including you, baby. And now you have a chance. Yeah. <laughs> well, you filled it out and now you want to submit it. You! <laughs> Poor baby, she hit herself real hard. While you're in the nurse's clinic. Oh, hi, baby! <laughs> Yeah, you want to talk about the piece of paper that you really can't? Of course you be excited!
You could have just told her, babe. Like, oh. I mean, here, why don't you just go ahead, you talk to Nijika, roll, and, and, you know, you feel, and then you just say, hey, this is what I want to do, and then if they're all game, then boom! Oh my god! Ah, uh, yes. Trash. We are. Exactly. You know, because, like, once you become an adult, it's just always like, oh, what if this? What if that? What if, what if, what if? See, it's already decided. <laughs> I can already see a whole bunch of people using that picture of Ro as a profile picture on Twitter. Yeah, be nice. Just, you know, to get your name out there even more. Mm-hmm. And you know you want to do it, Bochi, so just say yes. I'm dead. <laughs> mm <laughs> 
I, I know, right? Damn, Nijika. <laughs> she rolls up like... <laughs> I mean... I know, go for expensive. Like, but, I mean, no. But cheap booze is always sometimes good. But... Cheap booze can also be bad. Trust me. I mean, if it's like $5 tequila, then yes. Same thing with $5 vodka. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm like, Rio, Rio, you owe money still? I think she can't. I mean, she's done it before. <laughs> I, I know. Come on, Boji. It's okay. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I know that voice. I just don't know who that is. Them. I, I, I want to rewatch it now. <laughs> I 
Oh, okay. She's trying to be cool. <laughs> I, I also feel like somebody's going to use that as their profile picture. I'm going to see it. Nice. <laughs> you can already tell it's a different vibe and I love it. show if you don't release like freaking eps something for this show this show ends in a couple of weeks you really they released the song already <laughs> like i think what two or three four just release a whole fucking album please by the end of this show It's just you never would have thought that she would have been an introvert. See, yeah, looks can be definitely deceiving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she can't drink yet, honey. Aww. Damn. <sighs> Dang, is somebody really hungry? Like, I feel bad for somebody who can't eat. I'm like, yeah, you got some money. Oh my god. A fry! <laughs> she about to save the hell out of that fry.
I'm about to cry. Oh my god, that's me. <laughs> Don't cry. Don't Oh, poor baby. Wait, what do you mean she's missing? <laughs> what? What happened? <laughs> Why won't she missing? But, oh, okay, this was good. Oh, my God. Okay, one, hearing a new band today, just for, like, a little snippet. Teeny, tiny, like, right up in there, you know, like, this much of a song. Good. I, I just, I want that song on Apple Music now, because, like, I mean, I have almost every song that these girls have sang so i'm just over here like yeah you just want to go ahead and release a full album please by the end of the show please and thank you i mean oof like us please the slow live i like reference easter egg oh my god i mean because it makes sense because of the fact is our girls were mentioned, or really, they showed, they had an Easter egg in Slow Loom. So it makes sense to just, you know, bring it together. I thought that was adorable. And it just makes me want to rewatch Slow Loom again. Because, like, yes, of course, anything in the, you know, Kid of, time, uh, Kid of Manga Time series. And then also with Kid of Fantasy, like, slowly but surely dying by next year, I think, what, February. Y you just want to have everybody all together. Once again, you know, put them all in the freaking Kid of Fantasy anime. Make it greenlit the anime. The game is dying. Greenlit the anime. That's all. Greenlit it. I will watch it from beginning to end. I want every single freaking girl from every single series that they freaking created all together. I need to see, like, freaking, I need to see Bochi with freaking Kirby from Laid Back Camp featuring, um, I, I don't remember her name. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, not, not only Chino from Is the Order of Rabbit, but then also, um, What's Her Face from the other maid show, aka the girl with the creepy behind smile who I love so freaking much. I need them all to interact. Do you know how happy I would be if they all interact? i probably die. That's how big of freaking happy I would be if all four of them interacted together. I mean, because, like, both you'd be like, what the freak are we? Where are we? What's going on? I just want to see all of that. They're like, I mean, because every single time when I watch any of the series that are eventually in the Kid of Fantasy game, you're just like, you just greenlight it into a freaking anime. Like, d just do it. What are you doing? What is stopping you? Nothing is stopping you. You can, like, literally, y'all could wait until the day the game is gone. The game, you know, is shut down permanently. And then, you know, you walk up to a good studio. Hey, you know, A1 Pictures. Um, you could do any plex, do a good behind studio, and you'd be like, hey, I want to, I want to make something. Let's talk business. Like, come on now. You know, you have an opportunity. Let's say you're in an elevator with someone who uh, you're up, and you'd be like, hey, I have an opportunity right here. Opportunity knocking. Take it and grab it by the hands and don't let go, please, because I need it. I need it in my life. I, I want it so freaking bad. But, I mean, yeah, like, literally, this episode was just good. I mean, every episode has been good. Bochi and her freaking <laughs> endless <laughs> emotions. All of the, like, by the end of the show, well, no, okay, I'll even say it now. Technically, uh, anything Bochi has done, it's been using for, like, memes and such, especially with me, like, how I feel. I will always now kind of use something from this show to, like, indicate. It, it's between this show and then I still use stuff from Dress Up Darling. I I use Anya, like, freaking a lot. And I think a lot of people, if you follow me on Twitter, know I use Anya a lot, especially if I have to go to work. Because I'm like, oh, my God, I don't want to go. But, I mean, yeah. Like, up. Uh, <laughs> but, yes, I, I'm honestly really excited to see or and really hear Bochi's new solo because I feel like, you know, one, it's time because we're getting closer and closer to the end of this show. So it's like, once again, time. 
let's go. <laughs> Just saying. Um, but it, I feel like her next solo is going to be vastly, like, different from her first. I mean, she did it at the spark of the moment, you know, because of, you know, how quiet it was at their venue for the first, you know, live and everything. And now she's going in front, she's going to go in front of her whole school. That's completely different. So, I mean, yes, her confidence is still high and, and you know, at the top, but who knows what the heck could happen between this next episode and when she does perform. So, yeah, two, where the heck is Bochi now? I bet you Bochi at home somewhere, you know, she probably just chilling, like, you know, possibly, you know, just not wanting to be there because she's secretly still scared, and that's okay. I mean, you know, she's an introvert, and we have those moments and stuff, and we're just like, you know, we want to be in our little bubble of, you know, safety and, and security and everything. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was also a very interesting surprise that what's her face was one i was not expecting her to be an introvert as well but like i said looks can be very deceiving and, and that's the one thing also that i love about this show you would never think that someone who is like a character like her would be an introvert and i think that's really good because even when you are someone who is like very you can have someone who is hella bubbly like um Equal and still be an introvert. I mean, you know, we can point at me because that is that is me. <laughs> I love when I can make fun of myself. It's so fucking hilarious. But I mean, yeah, it's just good behind episode. Ready to see what the heck is gonna happen next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode ten of Bochi the Rock. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night. Enjoy the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 11. Bye, guys.